Hello everyone. Uh, today is um, 18th August and today is SDI's um, 16th anniversary. And um, it's a little emotional for me uh, thinking about SDI. Um, it turned 16. Me and Shahara started our journey from our bedroom uh, and it came a long way. Um, I had a very busy morning with the team celebrating. Uh, we celebrate big, so we've been celebrating. Uh, but I thought I would reflect on a few things, what I have learned in 16 years as a CEO of the company. Uh, and this is something where um, I always remind people that you know the experience we went through is very hard to explain it to everyone, but there are a few points maybe you can learn from it. Uh, one of the things um, I have learned going back to 16 years, uh, you know, when we started this journey and even before when I was doing freelancing work, uh, me and Shahara always believed in for this day. Uh, I had no doubt about su being successful through SDI. Uh, yes, there are a lot of up and ups and downs in early days, but when I used to go to bed every night, I would be dreaming about having an office in Bangladesh or in India or other places and I am there with them. Employees are very happy and, you know, and it's a deja vu for me because I lived through this dream. Uh, believe it or not, I actually, um, you know, went to Goa many times and still at office and in Ukraine and go, uh, you know, Dhaka. And I felt it. I felt what exactly I dreamed about. Uh, but that dream was not one night. Every night I used to dream about that. So if you want to achieve something, you have to dream. Um, I was listening to a podcast um, in a, uh, sorry, a video a few days ago from Shourab Ganguly, the cricketer, um, Indian cricketer. He was talking about before his first test, uh, you know, he met with Gordon Greenies, another West Indian uh, cricketer. And uh, he asked him for the advice to be successful. And he said, you know, pretty much the same thing that you have to dream enough time. You have to think about success every day. You have to think that tomorrow you will score high. And he found out 80% of the time he became very successful. Uh, so I truly believe in, uh, you know, thinking about, you know, dreaming about something and never doubt, and then you will achieve it. You know, looking back our company uh, for last 15 years, uh, you know, even this morning when I was presenting to my team, the clients, uh, you know, the clients we made, the, uh, you know, made successful, we made those clients successful are uh, Johnson & Johnson, Jensen Pharmaceutical, CFR, Tor Petron, Teachers Pay Teachers. We serve probably, you know, 1,000 plus clients, and I can only name few in this presentation. Uh our company's motto is employee happiness, generate client success. Uh, however, I do remember those small clients also. Um, I am as excited to serve a small client, a, a travel agency back in 19, uh, in a 2004, uh, as much as I'm excited about Jensen Pharmaceutical. However, it gives me goosebump um, in thinking about client success. Last two years, we worked with Jensen Pharmaceutical a lot, and I was... Um, watching TV that day and I saw an ad and I was like, wow, this is me, right? Uh, this is like our company has done this uh, work uh, for Jensen Pharmaceutical and I see that ad on TV. When I'm doing watching TV and I see a Neutrogena ad, it excites me. However, it also excites me when I see a small client because of us getting uh, in a, some business. So always care about your client if you want to be successful or always care about the people who gives you the business. Um, you always have to be, uh, you always have to care about them and that will give you more success. Uh, the third part um, of you know, this success, over the year when me and Shahara started the company, we always cared about our employees. Early days, we were trying to just communicate well with them. We were trying to do small stuff with them. However, uh, as years passed by, uh, we actually went ahead and you know started doing more 
things for employees. And now our company, uh, company in all offices, we do different things, right? Focusing on their health and well-being. Uh, do a lot of activity in the company. Uh, you know, fun times. Uh, making sure employees are always happy. Uh, it's personally not possible to make everyone happy, but we invest a lot of our time and energy, and that's why probably we are not most profitable company. However, uh, we do care about these people. And if you are starting a company, if you uh, are a team lead, I think caring for people personally is very important. Whether you want it from your heart, uh, that does matter because uh, employees do realize that, you know, and you have to make sure you have to take care of them uh, eventually. And if you do take care of them, this is what happened. It's been 50, 16 years journey. 50% of our employees, 50, uh, 50 of them stayed more than five years with us. These are the names, you know, because of them, we are here. All these members in Dhaka, Goa, Ukraine, uh, you know, even in New York, we are a small team, but these members actually made this company. It's not me and Shahara just worked hard and made this company. These are the 50 people who, you know, finished five years plus in our company out of 141. So that's a big achievement. For me, this is the biggest thing you know, I have achieved as a CEO, I would say, that I made some of the people happy. The last part, which I really want to go ahead and talk about, that you know, employees' growth. So if you are taking care of your employee, you want to make sure that they are growing inside the company. The people, the list I showed you, some of them have joined you know, 10 years ago, seven years ago, they probably can't recall their first title, right? Uh, whether it is Madhav or Pritesh or you know Amol, uh, Paresh, uh, you know they evolve. They evolve in time in different uh, you know position. Uh, some of them Akram or Mujammel or uh, Nadim. They joined as one position and they moved up. They went to a different position and they moved up. And this is what our achievement is. So for me, caring for people, taking them to the next level, that gave me the satisfaction. This is my two cents for today. Uh, you know, again, uh, I feel grateful to all my friends and family member because without your blessings, without your prayers, I would not be here. I always believe that, you know, without people's help, we would not be here. So thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot.